Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. In this episode, it's going to be Malaysian food. Let's check it out. Lots of good stuff. Bilingual menu. Chicken dishes, seafood, vegetables. This is a halal restaurant, so you won't be finding any pork dishes here. Oh, I've seen this somewhere before, but never tried it. That looks good. Net crepe turmeric with coconut milk. That, yeah. Well, look at this. This appetizer set. Gotta get that. And the name of the restaurant is Malay Chan. So they don't have Malaysian beer, but they've got beer from Singapore. As close as you can get to Malaysia. Cheers, y'all. That is a very refreshing full-bodied lager. The appetizer plate has arrived. Where shall we start? Oh, it's looking beautiful. Let's start here with the spring rolls, but they're actually called summer rolls. Good size. More than one bite, I would say. I'm tasting lots of vegetables. And a nice sauce. Mm -hmm. Don't know if there's any meat in there or not. This is called a Malaysian pancake. It doesn't really look like a pancake. It looks like it's got meat inside. Let's give it a try. Oh. It's nice and chewy. It got curry inside now. I wouldn't call it a pancake. I'd call it more like a burrito or a taco. Some Malaysian pickled vegetables. And then we've got some seafood chips here. I guess you can eat these together. Mmm, that's pleasant. I like that. They're rice crackers. I guess seafood flavor, seafood shape. Is that a fish? In the shape of a fish, how cute. Nice flavor. Mm -hmm. A little bit salty. Soft. This is something in a banana leaf. Yep, let me get the name here. It's called Ota Ota. It's fish in a banana leaf. Fish, really? Oh, I can smell it. And some little bones here too. This looks exotic. Oh, it tastes like sardines. Looking like on some minced fish. Oh, good though. This is called satay or chicken, barbecue chicken. Looks fabulous. Almost looks like a curry flavoring on there, is it? Oh, it's a peanut sauce. Wow, delicious. Wasn't what I was expecting. Peanut sauce on chicken. Oh, this is lovely. Nice way to eat barbecue chicken. Mmm. This dish is sauteed wild jungle beans with Malaysian sauce. I love the name, wild jungle beans. Yeah. This looks to be the bean, doesn't it? Let's just go in for one solo bean first. Oh, goodness, it tastes like it comes from a jungle. It's kind of crunchy. I don't know, it's more like an artichoke or something. It doesn't taste like a bean. The texture is, uh, it's different. All right, let's go for some of the other things in here. What do we have? Onions, we've got some red peppers. Oh, shrimp, that'd be good. Now that's better. When you eat the bean with something else, the beans are very uh, 
pungent, I guess is the word. The beans are bitter and pungent. Mm -hmm. And the sauce is a dark, it's like a yakiniku sauce. The bitterness of the beans is starting to grow on me. I like this dish. No, yeah, I mean, they look like, what, lima beans, but mm -mm, there's a tartness to them. Gotta love this deep, tangy sauce. Onions in, let's get some onions. This is called kushin sai, or water spinach. Shows up often in Chinese cuisine. Oh, it's good. Very different from your typical spinach because you got the stems in here. And we do have some leafy vegetables as well too. Well, and also an oyster sauce. This is good. Mmm. -hmm. What else do we have here? These little onions, or is it garlic? No, oh, it's garlic. Oh, fabulous way to eat your greens. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite greens for sure. This is called rendang beef. It's in a coconut gravy sauce. The aroma is fabulous. Oh yeah. I'm smelling coconuts. Let's give it a try. Coconut gravy. Oh, it's like a stew. Wow, not as sweet as I thought. Mm, it's like mom's homemade stew. It's tasty, very tasty. The coconut is not as, as overpowering as I thought it would be. Yeah, it is definitely more of a gravy than it is coconut. You can see the thickness. Let's try some of the veggies too. Mm. And the meat is so nice and tender. It's been cooked for hours and hours. A crock pot, look at that. Yeah, stew. Look at that. Oh, it's cooked just right too. You can see some redness. This is a lovely dish. It's drench it in the sauce. Coconut gravy sauce. Mm. This next dish is called roti jada. It is a crepe dish. They're called net crepes. Look at that. Gorgeous. Kind of feel like a pancake. Very flexible. Yeah. And she's instructed me to put it on like this. There's a filling. So you've got some vegetables, some shrimp. And it's in a coconut sauce. Oh, this looks really good. Coconut and turmeric sauce. It's like bean sprouts. And then I guess you just wrap it up. And go to town. The sauce is really sweet. And it's, it's like the crepe is like a pancake. It's different, different from anything I've ever had before, that's for sure. Hmm, let's try another one. Oh yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? The turmeric is really overpowering. That's what gives it the flavor. The coconut is very mild so it's basically it's bean sprouts <laughs> and some other vegetables but it's 80 percent bean sprouts here and oh, i can just the turmeric just oh really gives it some major kick Fancy Malaysian eats. Mmm. Oh yeah. 
shrimp and bean sprouts. Mm-hmm. Tastes like a sweet rubbery pancake. This dish right here is the house specialty. It's called laksa. It is a noodle dish, and the noodles are made of tapioca, and it's in a herb soup. <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks fabulous. Tapioca noodles. This is a first. Mmm. There's definitely some spice here. Let's go in for the soup. Oh my. Lots of flavors going on here. I'm tasting sweet and sour. Lots of herbs. Maybe cilantro. Let's get some of the veggies. They don't really, I guess the texture is like tapioca, but not really the flavor. They're not sweet noodles. Very pure. A little bit gummy. Definitely an herbal soup. Look at the thickness. Very thick. So many different flavors going on here. Delicious. It's time for dessert, and this is called Boober Cha Cha. I love the name, Boober Cha Cha. <laughs> so it is a sweet potato and coconut milk dish. This is a sweet potato here and then lots of different types of beans. There's azuki right on top. Looks delish. Oh, and tapioca, don't forget the tapioca. The beans and sweet potato on the first bite. Mmm. Oh. The beans and the sweet potato are both really sweet. Let's try tapioca mango. An awful lot of natural sweets in this dessert. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is refreshing. About the sweetest sweet potato I've ever had, I think. Yeah. So now it is time to rate this meal. Malaysian food in Tokyo. I'm very impressed. Definitely good stuff. I enjoyed all the dishes, lots of different flavors. Stuff I'd never tried before. Pretty interesting cuisine, I would say. Yes, so on my rating scale, between one and five. Between one and six, Eric heads. I'm gonna go five. Did I give it away? Five, Eric heads. It's a nom nom. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.